Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sprinkles and today we have a tutorial with Vroid Studio. So this tutorial you will learn how to make your VTuber a Sunday hat. So that includes whipped cream, sprinkles, a cherry, and I'll be sure to provide the texture themes down below in the description so you can use that in Vroid Studio. Let's go to hairstyles. Ahoge, and I'm going to select whipped cream specifically. I previously made the whipped cream and the cherry by selecting the guide here. The whipped cream is made out of three hair pieces. As you see, this is the bottom layer. This is the center, the middle layer of the whipped cream. Your hair piece will be a swirl. And you're going to wrap a single hair piece and you're going to swirl it around as the outer piece of the whipped cream. And then you're gonna add a middle section. Let me close it off here to explain how I did it. I had a difficulty recording me doing the whipped cream here. So I just wanna show you what I did. So using the ahoge, it already had a small freehand hair guide and I was able to tilt it. I'm gonna show you with the rotation. I also added more on top in order to give the whipped cream. Let's see if I can rotate. My computer's struggling right now. So that makes up the whipped cream. And remember, the bowl is going to be on the outer edge of the whipped cream. So you can't tell whether or not it's missing or have spaces or holes in between connecting the hair to the whipped cream. Let's see if I can get it to load. It's struggling. Ah! So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the whipped cream and I'm gonna show you the cherry. So the cherry here is only one hair. See, I haven't labeled this hair for. And what I did is I got a hair piece and I curled it up in a ball. It's kind of flat when it connects to the ear right here. It's flat, but we wanted the dimension to show more on the outer side of the cherry, like this, just like this. And like mentioned before, you're gonna wanna tilt the hair guide. You're gonna wanna rotate it to tilt, and you're gonna wanna move it and make it kind of small here to fit in between the top of your hair. I, of course, have ears. Let's see if I can go and check down the parameters. So I don't have texture parameters. I have the width, highlight, position, and now offset. I don't have a checked box, which means it's not going to affect what you have. But if I did, it would look probably a little different slightly. So my hair parameters, this is what the fluff curve looks like, just like this. So do this for your cherry. The cross section is diamond. I have the twist, intensity, placement, and smoothness off, but I have my width and thickness on. So you, here you can copy the width, which is 0 0.06, and the thickness is 0. 0.09. So you're going to have that for your cherry. And I will be providing the hair material for the cherry. No worries. But this is what the texture looks like. Because I had difficulty recording, I lost the footage. But I at least want to give you an in-depth explanation as to what the dimensions are of this cherry. And that I used a single strand, and you can too. I like to try my best to use single strands because it makes it much faster and easier when it comes to creating your hair pieces. If it's just one, then you don't have to worry about it being too intricate and too difficult. So I like it just simple. Okay, so this is my hair texture. This actually is a hair texture piece and I added red to the edges using the brush type, brush width, and the brush opacity. And I added some dimensions to it. And here's the default. So this is what you're going to have. I don't even think you need, you just need a plain background for the cherry, but our main focus will be here on this. It originally was just like this with the hair piece here and I added this coloration to it. I'll be sure to leave them in the description down below so it can quickly help you complete your hair piece without it taking too long like it did for me, which is why I'm making this tutorial. And now we are just going to focus on what I did for the hair material regarding the whipped cream. Now remember, it is just a swirl and I did three layers, adjusting it with the hair parameters here. Okay, let's look at the texture parameters for the whipped cream here. So my width for the texture parameter is at 5.00. I have highlight position and offset the box unchecked, which means it doesn't affect the hair and its texture. Hair parameters. My position is at 0.00 and along with position Y being at 0.00. The width, I have a checked box, it's 0.01. My thickness check boxed, 0.03. The box is not checked for twist intensity and twist placement. And the box is checked for smoothness at 100. Cross section diamond, curve fluffy, and this is exactly how I have the hair. You're gonna want the right side of this hair curve to be at the corner and the other to be slightly up positioned like this and it having a peak right here. It has one, two, three, four, six. 
six little orbs right here. I'll call them orbs and they're just hair placements. So it's just like this. As long as you get the shape here, that's all that matters. And that's how the hair parameter will be for your whipped cream. And remember, it's okay if there's a part where the section in the whipped cream isn't completely full and there's some open spaces because your ice cream bowl is going to cover it. So the hair material, the main color's off, the highlight color's off, and the shaded colors are both checkboxed. Base color and shade color is just white. Now let's look at editing the texture. I'll be sure to have it in the description down below what the hair texture is so you can use it for free, copyright free, and be sure to refer to this tutorial and where you got the hair texture just as a polite way of saying thank you so this here is my default design main color and highlight color the box is not checked but the shaded color the base color shade color they're both checkboxed here so i didn't have to do many adjustments here and this is what makes the whipped cream have texture and i wanted to talk about the hair parameters and that it is tilted on the head and we are using the ahoge hair piece here. I previously made it and then I went in and added the banana and the sprinkles. So I just wanted to clarify that at least. All right, moving on. So we're going to use the freehand group three to make our first hair, which will be the outline for the, the ice cream sundae bowl. Let's see. Yes. So this is me positioning it. I positioned my ice cream sundae on the side of my head, tilted. For the audience, they can still view it but without it overcrowding my ears and feathery fur fluff. This is me already structuring hair five. So in freehand group three of the ahoge, you're gonna wanna make half a circle with the first hair piece. So be sure to rotate your hair piece structure on the side of your head. So that way it still allows you to have room for other decorations you want on your avatar. So here I have, I made a half moon on the hair. So I wanted the bowl to look as if it's being submerged into the, the main hair pieces on my avatar's head. Now you can see from this angle that it is like a half moon. And I just wanted to double check to make sure that it doesn't interfere with my ears. In your case, you may have other hair pieces. I do recommend getting creative and working around what you already have on your avatar's head. So I did mine as a half moon to not interfere with my other designs and decorations. We're going back to the control point. Using control point, you can adjust the hair strands and that's exactly what I'm going to do for you here. So here I am already adjusting it, making sure that it's evenly distributed in regards to its weight. So be sure to do this and don't skip this step. Remember that creating your avatar and making adjustments and adding decorations, it takes patience and time. And I promise you, it is very worth it. In the end, you get to use those hair pieces on different versions of your avatar, give or take. Now, I'm going back to the mouse pointer here. You see at the top left, the selection. And we're going to adjust the width and the thickness of that strand of hair in order to reshape it as a bowl. Now, of course, we'll be adding textures to the hair piece soon. So select your hair. Mine is labeled hair number five. And that's going to specifically only change the texture and the width of that strand of hair, which we have created to be the form of an ice cream bowl for our sundae. So now we're going to make the adjustment. I'm turning my width up for the hair strand up. So as you can tell, it already has elongated the strand of hair, which is exactly what we want. Now the thickness and smoothness I've adjusted to these parameters. Be sure to click and pause the video if you would like to use the exact measurements I have to make your ice cream bowl. Now I'm adjusting the width, my highlight position, and now I'm going to select material and I'm going to be adjusting it with the texture. I already have in my folder. I'll be sure to provide it in the description down below so you can also use this copyright free texture scheme for your hair design and adjusting it accordingly. I'm using a gray and now I'm going to use a color and give it more definition. I'm adding shadow to this texture here. Using a baby blue I added shine to the texture. It already is looking like the bowl I have on my head here. I wanted shadow and I kept the shine it originally had. So be sure to do this diligently. We're almost there, guys. So now let's take a nice closer look at our texture. Here I am adjusting the thickness and adjusting the width. 
Adjusting the texture perimeters allows my colorations to show more. Be sure to take note of that in case you have to do the same on your avatar. There we go. It looks exactly how I want it to look like. I want a top shine to the bowl and a shaded definition to the under part of the bowl. As you can see here, we're adjusting and moving this piece, which is going to be the banana piece in our banana split sundae. Now this may take several tries. Be sure to adjust the height, the width, and the length here. And we're going to want to make it a narrow oval shape with its bottom end open because it will be submerged into our head here, into our hair and our skull of the avatar. Once we get that shape, we're going to go ahead and start making hair. And we're going to wrap it around the top part of this shape for our banana. Let's have a closer look. So this is what the shape of your hair piece should look like, the hair guide. And I'm using the mirroring hair option there at the top right. Where you can mirror each hair strand, so I'm using that feature in order to make this process much faster. As you see, we're going to go ahead and start adjusting the hair parameters and making it increasing the thickness and the width. I'm attempting to use less hair strands and make sure that the hair strands we already have, I say we have four to five hair strands around to make the banana. And we're just going to increase its width and thickness and of course adjust the, the points of the hair. By adjusting it, we're able to layer it accordingly, as you see. Now remember, we're only adjusting the banana hair pieces for the top. We're not gonna make it all around because the bottom part of the hair guide is going to be left open because that piece will be submerged in our head. It kind of looks like corn. So if you end up using this tutorial, the banana split Sunday hair V-Roy tutorial to make corn for your hair, that's fine too. I think it'll work. I think you can end up using this tutorial for the banana to make other foods. It almost looks like a tamale to me. Corn, tamale, a seed. So if you have like a country theme and you want corn pieces in your hair, I think this tutorial can work too. Of course, you would have extra hair pieces coming out the side of the shape that we have here. The oval smushed shape. All right, so once you have it wrapped around completely, we don't want there to be any holes or any open pieces of the hair piece here for the banana because then it, it would take away from the look of it being a banana and it would have an unfinished look. Now we're repositioning our banana. So I have an open piece right there between the bowl and the whipped cream and that is where we will be placing our banana. So we're gonna go to hair materials on the top right over here and we're gonna go edit textures. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the notification icon. All right, let's continue with the hair piece tutorial. But you might have to do minor adjustments to the texture hair piece I'm going to give you. So that way you can continue to follow along with the tutorial. So I use more of like a mustard color because my texture was already a light yellow, a light yellow cream. And now I'm going to be drawing over it because I wanted to have shadows and definition. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Yes, I wanted some lines and streaks because bananas aren't necessarily just this oval shape. They also have those outer edges. Okay, now it looks like corn. I guess this can be like a corn tutorial if you want corn in your hair. That goes with your theme or design. So just keep that in mind as I'm making more definition to this banana here. So I'm adjusting the opacity for the highlights, the layer opacity. See, it may just be easier for you to make your own texture but I'll still provide mine, but I can't guarantee based off the shape you end up making that it will fit the same way. I can't guarantee that, but I can say that I can hope that following this tutorial will help guide you in making your own hair pieces. Specifically, this one being the banana split tutorial. Sunday banana split, banana split Sunday tutorial. Yeah. Okay, so continue adjusting. We're going for more cream colors between the orange and the yellow. Now we want it yellow, but we don't want it orange. So keep that in mind unless you're making your hair piece butter. Then I would think yellow would be, a yellowy orange would probably fit a butter hair piece. That'd be cute. Butter and bread on your head. I'd do that. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on that. If this video has a thousand likes, then I'll be sure to feel encouraged to continue uploading more V-Roy tutorials 
on hair pieces. So now we're of course going to reposition our banana into the ice cream bowl. My focus was more whipped cream, cherry, and banana and the bowl. Adjust the height and bring it closer to your bowl, your ice cream bowl. And then of course, now you're going to adjust the width if needed. Hopefully not. But if you have to shrink your banana, yeah, just like that. So as you can tell, you can still see the banana on my hair piece here. I am currently using the finished model. Yep. So be sure to move and adjust and rotate your banana to your liking, of course. And get it as close as you can to the whipped cream without it completely being hidden and just about where we want it to be. We want the banana to stick out. So my banana ended up having a thick, being a little thicky, especially on one side. So I had to rotate it again. I was thinking about having the banana on the edge of the ice cream bowl, but as you can tell, I went ahead and yeah, I did. So adjusting your banana to fit I duplicated it. So I wanted the banana to look like it's extended, as you see here. So now it looks like a full banana instead of just like half a banana. And that's exactly what you want to give in this illusion of the hairpiece having the banana, this elongated shape, when it's actually two pieces. Now you can adjust your whipped cream so it fits right atop on your banana, your peeled banana, just like this. And be sure not to forget your cherry on top. You may have to rotate it just like I am now to turn your whipped cream. Now be sure to adjust your cherry and move it just atop of the whipped cream. And there you go. We're almost done with this tutorial. Ta-da! Now we're going to save our items. Just in case if the v Studio crashes. It's happened to me before. So I do recommend saving each time you update your hairpiece just in case if your computer or software has an issue running it. Now we're gonna move on to the sprinkles. Now that we've made the bowl, the banana, the whipped cream, and the cherry, we're gonna go and try to add sprinkles to the hairpiece. By adding another hair guide and repositioning it just above our current hairpiece, so now we have just added another hairpiece. And the hairpiece is already the size we want it at. So now we're just going to tilt it at the right angle in order to secure its position on the banana split. And from here, we will be making sprinkles given the name of my avatar, my character. I thought because I have AI sprinkles on a rabbit as my channel name, originally it was, and then it switched to AI rabbit, and now it's AI sprinkles. Given the story and the lore, you can check it out in the at the end of the video. You can play the game. I made it myself, inspired by what Markiplier did. Okay, be sure to adjust the curves so your cross section is diamond and your curve is fluffy. And we're going to straighten the curves here because the sprinkles, we want it to lay flat on the head. We don't want it to be bumpy and swirly. We want it just flat and straight. So be sure to do this. Now, it can get a little tricky when you adjust the, the curve. Make it as straight as possible. We're adjusting the smoothness and we're going to decrease the width ratio and thickness ratio. Now let's see, let's test it out. Okay, let's get closer. Now remember the width and the thickness for the hair parameter, we're gonna test it out, trial and error. See, we want it to be thin, but not this thin. So we are going to have to adjust the width and the thickness. Ah, it's too thin. Now we're going to adjust the width and see if that helps. I'm crossing it back and forth. And now we're going to go back to adjusting the fluff. Given my trial and error, I realize that I need more shape and curve to it, just like this. Now we are going to attempt to see how it's going to look. Let's test it out right now. Adjusting, look, I might have to change the cross section from what I currently have. Let me try straight and see what happens. Oh, it's too thick. Now it looks like seeds. So if you're doing a hair piece where you're making sesame seeds, then my current hair parameters may work just for you because they do look like sunflower seeds, the shape that I have currently. And if that's what you want for your hair tutorial, I've decided this is going to work. Now I'm just drawing out a few here at the top taking a look at it from afar and up close. Now we're going to hair material. We're going to consider adjusting the colors. Diamond, flat. I wanted to see the difference. I'll be sure to delete the, the sprinkles that didn't maintain the shape I wanted it to. Let's adjust the curve, which I have it on your straight, and the cross-section diamond. Ah, getting close to the shape I want my sprinkles to be. Hmm. Now I'm deleting my pre-existing sprinkle shape and I'm thinking about going with this one instead. Okay, too thick. Now I must adjust the curve of the fluff. We're going with fluffy, adjusting the curve. Ah, so much better. I wanted my sprinkles to have a more round shape on the edge. 
Having a round shape on the edge, as you see here, me adjusting. Close. Focusing. Focusing. Okay, so I want to scatter my sprinkles out, and I don't want them too close together. I want to give the illusion that they were sprinkled sporadically. So we're going to go ahead and reposition new sprinkles. This shape, we're going to go with it. And I'm angling my hair pieces that are the sprinkles at an angle. I'm adjusting the width, and before you know it, we'll be able to adjust the sprinkles hair color. It's really fun and amazing what you can do in V-Roid Studio, and how you can create so much, and that your creativity is your limitations, and that you can go beyond them if you continue to pursue it. So don't feel discouraged. It took me a whole day and a half to finish the model you see here. I want to say my model took, for the outfit, it took two days. For the hair piece, it took a day and a half. And I would say the whole model here is maybe three or four days in. Three or four days, almost a week of making on my own. So I didn't pay anybody to make this model here. I customized it by myself. So now we're going to do sprinkles here on the back. Okay, placing sprinkles here on the back of our Sunday. At any given point, if I end up using my avatar in VR, I want to be able to make sure that it has all the dimensions and small details I'd like to be seen. So that is why we're going around our VTuber model and making sure we have enough sprinkles for our Sunday. Looking pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and select our sprinkles and we're going to be adjusting the hair material color. Mm -hmm. So as you see here, these are all the hair pieces. It's a lot. And we're going to be selecting our hair pieces here under the freehand group number six, which is what I have labeled for the sprinkles. And we're going to be selecting the material colors that I have already. So I want blues and reds, and I want pinks, and I want yellows. And this can be simply done by adjusting the main color and highlight color of your hair piece, hair piece strands. Okay, so we're going into the hair material texture, and now I'm going to make it just one color. I won't be providing the texture material for the sprinkles because you can do it simply yourself just by coloring over a material hair texture in the editor. But I will be leaving a texture for the whipped cream, the bowl, and the cherry, as well as the banana, in hopes that it'll help speed up the process of you making your own Sunday banana split. I replaced the material texture with this here. And I'm going to do the same with the other colors. So now I'm picking and choosing at random the hair pieces I want to be green. I want the colors to be scattered all around each other. So that way it shows there's a variety. Mm -hmm. So right now we're doing green. We're going to be doing this along with the other following colors. And as you see here, under freehand group 6, which is the sprinkles, I'm already selecting the colors at random. The hair material colors are purple, red, blue, yellow, green, and hot pink. And as you can see, it already looks like the Sunday you, you can view on my head here. Now we're going to reposition our sprinkles so that way you can see it from the front view of your model, but just slightly. We don't want to make any major changes because the position of our sprinkles is already where we want it on our hair. Let's go and save our sprinkles item. So we are now done making our banana split. Congratulations for watching the video to the very end. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click on notifications for future videos. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.